Hey guys, Jason here. So just to show you a little bit of what I've been working on this week. So I built this little gate here so that keep the dogs in because our little husky likes to run away. Yes, Andy, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so uh, I built this little gate here, put a spring on it so that the kids can go in and out. And it'll automatically close. So the kids, because kids never close the gate. <laughs> so built that this week. Just one by twos and one by fours. Lightweight. Keep it simple. Made it strong enough so hopefully it'll last for a little while. And I measured it out so it's the same spacing as the railing on the deck. Got a lot of work to do up front here. As you can see I got some uh, decking boards that need to be replaced. So I got to replace some decking boards. And then pressure wash it and then reseal it. This poor old deck. Try to make it last a little longer. And then today what I was working on is this flower box or not flower this is she's gonna plant uh, um, herbs in there herbs so she can just reach out the window the kitchen window here water it and everything and plant herbs and I'm debating whether to stain it or just paint it white I don't know I only made it out of white uh, pine and I gotta add more uh, supports to it but it is uh, six and a half inches deep it's not done yet but it's six and a half, uh, half inches deep so I can have uh, a nice good soil base in there so it won't dry out right away hopefully um, so I'll hold the moisture throughout the day is what I'm planning and uh, so got a lot I gotta paint all the white I haven't done the white painting yet either <laughs> around the trim and I still have to paint the rest of the gray across the front of the house. Uh, a lot of stuff to do still, but I'm still, um, we're getting there <laughs> a little bit at a time. So adding some more of those supports down there, under there to hold that up. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, this here, the aquaponics setup, I may have messed up a little bit and planted the tomatoes too early because we've had some really cold nights down in the low 40s and now the tomatoes aren't looking so happy uh, you can see here on these leaves these leaves down here they're not looking very happy but still I don't know I'll just let it I'll just see what happens <laughs> but the lower leaves are kind of dying off so I don't know and the little tiny one I planted here he's still looking okay so I don't know I'll just wait and see what happens if they die off then oh well it's, I'm just experimenting but uh fish ponds looking good all the fish are happy down in there you can see how clean it is clean and clear it just cleaned it right up and then we can come around to the side here and then uh, look at my cucumbers you can see they're starting to pop off real looking melon looking leaves not just the sprout leaves they got real leaves coming off of them there's one there so then I planted a couple of bean seeds in here and I put up a six foot trellis so hopefully it'll grow up that trellis if it grows but I don't know like I say I'm just experimenting with this stuff and just try and see what what I can plant and will it work <laughs> but yeah that's the uh, floating bed there with the bubbler underneath and so just an update working on the uh, this pathway that we, Loretta's been working really hard on this <coughs> excuse me so we're getting this all finished up nice little uh, stone walkway going through and then we got pea gravel all over 
because that's what it was all originally it was just pea gravel everywhere up front here and it kind of settled into the dirt and so now we got to put more pea, pea gravel back on top not not pea gravel it's like a bigger a little bit bigger than pea gravel but that's what it was it's, you know stones about one inch size but they kind of settled into the dirt and let's see oh I put this board up here because it was bowing out so I just found a chunk of one by four and I just put a couple of screws in from the top to hold that one by four and it holds this nice and straight this brick here is settling so the corner of my grow bed here is dropped down but it doesn't seem to affect the uh, drainage any with the uh, bell siphon there seems to still be working fine so I'll just leave it alone maybe adjust it later um, you know maybe next year or something but our little pond area garden bed front of the house kind of things kind of coming together and it's looking all right just finishing up that uh, that little uh, herb garden there for right underneath the window so that's about it so, thanks for watching you guys just working on our uh, our house here gotta finish painting and stuff and, but we're getting there a little bit at a time all right talk to you later mm, bye bye